So let's start with the accessibility settings, primarily for people with limited eyesight. Number one, always expand alt text for images. When checked, displays all of the A alternative text that is associated with an image. This is useful if you have switched off, unchecked, the show pictures setting and rely on a screen reader to describe images. Note, many programmers do not use the alt code when programming websites. Number two, enable carrot browsing for new windows and tabs. When checked, it enables carrot browsing, cursor movement browsing. Carrot browsing means you can use certain keyboard keys, home, end, page up, page down and the arrow keys to roam around a web page for example, instead of using the mouse pointer, so that you can perform select, copy and paste procedures amongst other things. Number 3. Move system carrot with focus, selection changes. If you use a screen reader you can tick this setting to move the insertion point as the focus changes. Some screen readers, magnifiers use the insertion point or system carrot, flashing cursor, to determine which area of the screen to read, magnify. Number 4. Play system sounds. Says it all in the name. Number 5. Reset text size to medium for new windows and tabs. If a new window or tab is opened Internet Explorer will automatically set the text size to medium, regardless of what the current display settings are. Number 6. Reset zoom level for new windows and tabs. If a new window or tab is opened Internet Explorer automatically sets the zoom level to 100% for that new window or new tab, regardless of what the current zoom level is. Untick this setting if you want to apply the current zoom level to any new windows or tabs you open. Browsing settings are settings primarily to do with the web browser Internet Explorer, history files, and programming. 1. Always record developer console messages. For the best browsing performance, I recommend you have this unchecked when you're not actively debugging content. 2. Close unused folders in history and favorites. When unchecked, this setting allows you to view many days of history at once. 3. Disable script debugging, Internet Explorer. Do not worry too much about this setting as it is mainly for website programmers. This setting turns off Internet Explorer's script debugger, code checking program, so that error messages are not shown when Internet Explorer encounters a script error. 4. Disable script debugging, other, again do not worry too much about this setting as it is mainly for website programmers. Dose the same as above only with being scripting codes. 5. Display a notification about every script error. This setting, when checked, means you want to be notified about every script error. This setting, as you can see, is switched off, unchecked, by default. 6. Enable automatic crash recovery. When checked Internet Explorer will automatically try and recover from a crash that was caused. 7. Enable FTP folder view, outside of Internet Explorer. Do not worry too much about this setting as it is mainly for website programmers. When checked this setting means you want to view your FTP folders. 8. Enable suggested sites. When checked this enables the suggested site service. This means that when you click on the suggested sites button, on the taskbar, it will search the internet for similar websites to the website you are currently viewing. 9. Enable third-party browser extensions. When checked, it allows third-party browser extensions, programs, to work. If you want to disable all third-party browser extensions, simply uncheck this setting. 10. Enable visual styles on buttons and controls in web pages. When checked, this setting gives a web page's graphical user interface, buttons, drop down menus and so on, the Windows XP look, so the buttons will look embossed for example. And when this setting is unticked it gives a web pages GUI the old Windows 98 say, classic, look. 11. Go to an intranet site for a single word entry in the address bar. When checked, this setting makes Internet Explorer fade out of the page you are leaving and fade into the page you are entering. 12. Load sites and content in background to optimize performance. This option is enabled by default. Explorer 11 will not preload websites content in the background. 13. Notify when downloads complete. When unchecked this setting means you do not want to be informed when a file has been downloaded, 
Internet Explorer automatically ticks the close this dialog box when download completes. 14. Show friendly HTTP error message. When checked this means you want to be shown the internet connection, help, hint description as well as the error code and its name. 15. Underline links. When always is checked, web page links are underlined. When hover is checked, you have to hover the mouse over a link before it becomes underlined. And when never is checked, web page links are never underlined. 16. Use inline autocomplete in Windows Explorer and run dialog. When checked, this means you want to force off screen compositing. This will eliminate the flashing you see with the compositing normally used by Internet Explorer running under terminal server. 17. Use inline autocomplete in Internet Explorer address bar and open dialog. When checked Internet Explorer automatically fills in, autocomplete, your web addresses. 18. Use most recent order when switching tabs with Ctrl plus tab. When checked, pressing keyboard key Ctrl and tab, will view each web page in left to right order. 19. Use passive FTP, for firewall and DSL modem compatibility. Do not worry too much about this setting as it is mainly for network programmers, engineers. When checked, passive mode for FTP, file transfer protocol, which means there, your, local computer does not need to know its IP address. 20. Use smooth scrolling. When checked, this setting allows a special type of scrolling to display content at a predetermined speed. When unchecked, screen readers will continue to read links correctly, 21 and 22. Use HTTP 1.1 and use HTTP 1.1 through proxy connections. Again this setting is mainly for network programmers, engineers. When checked, this means use the HTTP 1.1 protocol when connecting to websites by using a proxy server. International settings are primarily to do with the encoding and sending of URLs and domain names in UTF-8 format and IDN format respectively. Basically, they translate non-English URLs so that Internet Explorer can support more languages, countries on the Internet, rather than read books on these subjects. It is easier for the absolute beginner to just leave these settings alone by keeping them set to their default normal values, checked or unchecked. Multimedia settings deal with web page graphics and audio. 1. Enable alternative codecs in HTML5, media elements when checked. This setting means you want Internet Explorer to use clear type with HTML, text, written web pages. Clear type is a technology that improves text readability, sharpness, on liquid crystal displays such as laptop screens, pocket PC screens and flat panel monitors. As a laptop user myself I can recommend clear type. 2. Enable automatic image resizing, when checked. This setting means you want Internet Explorer to automatically resize, auto-fit, images so that they can be viewed correctly. 3. Play animations in web pages, when checked. This setting means you want animations viewable for web pages. When this setting is unchecked you will not be able to see any web page animations at all. You can use this unchecked setting in order to speed up web page viewing, as no animation means quicker loading of web pages. 4. Play sounds in web pages, when checked, this setting means you want audio playable for web pages. When this setting is unchecked you will not be able to hear any web page audio at all. You can use this unchecked setting in order to speed up web page viewing, as no audio means quicker loading of web pages. 5. Show image download placeholders, when checked, this setting means you want placeholders, rectangles slash squares, shown where web page graphics will go just until the graphics have fully downloaded. This allows items in the web page to be positioned properly even though the graphics have not fully downloaded yet. 6. Show pictures. When checked, this setting means you want graphics viewable for web pages. When this setting is unchecked you will not be able to see any web page graphics at all. You can use this unchecked setting in order to speed up web page viewing, as no graphics means quicker loading of web pages. Specific security settings. Allow active content from CDs to run on my computer. Active content includes ActiveX controls and web browser add-ons used by many internet websites. 
These programs are typically blocked because they can malfunction or attackers can perform tasks on your computer without your knowledge. The default for this is, not checked. I recommend this to be, not checked. Allow active content to run in files on my computer, same as last setting, except from files instead of from a CD. The default for this is, not checked. I recommend this to be, not checked. Allow software to run or install even if the signature is invalid. Signatures can be associated with specific applications and installations, tying them back to the manufacturer. This helps keep the application or installation true and helps you determine if the application or installation is a fake. The default for this is, not checked. I recommend this to be, not checked. Check for publisher's certificate revocation. Often a certificate needs to be revoked due to a compromised private key or the certificate has expired. This setting will first check for the certificate on the revocation list before it allows it to be used. Certificates are the default for this is, checked. I recommend this to be, checked. Check for server certificate revocation, the default for this is, checked. I recommend this to be, checked. Check for signatures on downloaded programs. Often a certificate needs to be revoked due to a compromised private key or the certificate has expired. This setting will first check for the certificate on the revocation list before it allows it to be used. The default for this is, checked. I recommend this to be, checked. Do not save encrypted pages to disk. If data from an HTTPS website connection is saved to your disk, this might pose a potential attacker to access the data via the saved data in the temporary internet folder. Of course, it is more efficient and faster to save this data to the disk for future access to the website. Not saving this encrypted data is more secure than allowing it to be saved. The default for this is, not checked. I recommend this to be, checked. Empty temporary files folder when browser is closed. The temporary files folder for restores a lot of data from each site that you visit. This information is cached on your disk for faster access the next time you visit that site. However, worms, viruses, and other malicious software can be stored along with the good website data. Therefore, clearing out the files on a regular basis is a more secure configuration than allowing it to be stored. The default for this is, not checked. I recommend this to be, checked. Enable DOM storage, DOM, document object model, storage is designed to provide a larger, secure, and easier to use alternative to storing information in cookies. DOM is used for programs like JavaScript to provide dynamic websites and deliver customized web pages for users. This behavior should not be allowed unless DOM storage is necessary for the business task on the internet. The default for this is, checked. I recommend this to be, not checked. Enable integrated Windows authentication, forces you to use Kerberos or NTLM for authentication, instead of using anonymous, basic authentication, or digest. The default for this is, checked. I recommend this to be, checked. Enable memory protection to help mitigate online attacks, this controls whether or not it uses data execution protection, which helps protect your computer from ill-behaving applications that could harm your computer. The default for this is, not checked. I recommend this to be, checked. Enable native XML HTTP support, used by many companies as a standard today to provide dynamic control over data via many websites. The default for this is, checked. I recommend this to be, checked. Phishing filter, phishing filter interrupts the ability to navigate to and download from sites known to host malicious content. It also helps you avoid socially engineered malware phishing websites and potential online fraud. The filter will check the website against a list of or reported phishing sites, check software downloads against a list of reported malicious software, and helps prevent you from visiting sites that might lead to identity theft. The default for this is, turn off automatic website checking I recommend this to be, turn on automatic website checking, use SSL 2.0. When you connect to a commerce website, such as a bank or bookseller, Internet Explorer uses a secure connection that uses Secure Sockets Layer, SSL, technology to encrypt the transaction. The encryption is based on a certificate that provides Internet Explorer with the information it needs to communicate securely with their website.
certificates also identify the website and owner or company. The default for this is, not checked. I recommend this to be, not checked. Use SSL 3.0, same as use SSL 2.0, but this is the newer of the two versions of SSL, the default for this is, checked. I recommend this to be, checked. Use TLS 1.0, TLS, Transport Layer Security, 1.0 is used when visiting SSL websites to protect and encrypt the data and connection. The default for this is, checked. I recommend this to be, checked. Use TLS 1.1, TLS, Transport Layer Security, 1.1 is used when visiting SSL websites to protect and encrypt the data and connection. Enable only if you know the website supports this version of TLS. The default for this is, not checked. I recommend this to be, not checked. Use TLS 1.2, TLS, Transport Layer Security. 1.2 is used when visiting SSL websites to protect and encrypt the data and connection. Enable only if you know the website supports this version of TLS. The default for this is, not checked. I recommend this to be, not checked. Warn about certificate address mismatch, provides warnings when the certificate for a website is not matching the website for which it is being used. The default for this is, checked. I recommend this to be, checked. Warn if changing between secure and not secure mode, if a website has a mixture of HTTP and HTTPS links, or you are being sent from an HTTPS site to a non-secure, HTTP, site, you will be warned. The default for this is, not checked. I recommend this to be, checked. Warn if post submittal is redirected to a zone that does not permit posts. Warns if you are working on a form on the internet that redirects you to an address that is different from the one that is hosting the form. This will help prevent your information or browser from being redirected to a non-secure site. The default for this is, checked. I recommend this to be, checked.